Reaction number three involves the use of hydrogen peroxide. This is 3% hydrogen peroxide, which most people can uh, get at their house and, or have at their house, I should say. And then I have uh, this black powder that is in these little vials just for dispensing. It's MnO2, this is a catalyst. When you pour hydrogen peroxide into the test tube, it looks just like water. Whoops, that's a little bit much. That's okay. Here, I'll just pour it off here. And this time we're going to speed up the decomposition of the hydrogen peroxide by adding the catalyst. When hydrogen peroxide decomposes, here's a little better view of it. Oops, maybe. <laughs> when hydrogen peroxide decomposes, the gas that forms is oxygen not carbon dioxide. So I'm gonna trap this. Uh, you can see that the oxygen or the hydrogen peroxide is bubbling. It was clear and colorless to start with. It's a little bit warmer here. It's a little bit hard to tell. Looks like I had a dirty test tube. <laughs> So that is reacting. And this time, since we predict oxygen's gonna form, we're gonna use a glowing splint. What do I mean by a glowing splint? I mean, I light it and then I make it so it isn't on fire. So I wanna let it burn pretty well so I can get a good, uh, a good, area of glowing and we'll see how fast I can do this. Hopefully you'll be able to observe it. So there's a glowing splint. Notice as I go fast, it moves, it gets brighter. Oh, darn. <laughs> I was hoping it was gonna relight. It did glow just a little bit brighter. I don't know if you could see that, but it did.